Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at two different Arcadia products that I've recently purchased. So without further ado, let's get started. So first up we have Arcadia Sticky Foot Gold. It is a powdered diet for arboreal geckos and other species like day geckos and stuff like that. Uh, next we have Calcium Pro, which is a calcium supplement with added magnesium. I'm gonna touch up on why that's significant later. And the last thing is some cups. <laughs> I bought these just to test out the products. They seem convenient, they're biodegradable, environmentally friendly. So yeah, let's get started with Sticky Foot. So Sticky Foot Gold is interesting in the fact that it has pretty much no artificial ingredients in it. Unlike some other companies, powdered diets like Rapashi and stuff like that, uh, they use completely natural ingredients, stuff like silkworms and black soldier fly larvae. I'm not gonna read all that stuff. You can pause the video and read it if you want. What's really interesting to me is that they have real honey in this and bee pollen. So I'm interested to see how my gecko will react to it. So like any other powdered diet, you want to mix it in with a little bit of water, serve it with eating tongs or a spoon or something like that, or your finger. I don't use my finger because Mango likes to bite. Uh, even when I use a spoon, she'll try to bite it and just like tear it off and I don't really like that. There's a lot of potential for her to uh, hurt herself there, so I usually just use the back end of tongs or the front end, even though there's still a risk. It's the best I have right now. I do want to get some rubber tip tongs eventually, but for now, this is going to have to do. And she seemed to really enjoy it. Uh, not as much as Rapashi. I've only been uh, using it for a couple days, so I'm not surprised. She probably just has to acquire a taste for it. But she did take it, so that's already a plus in my eyes. Uh, it's a lot better than some of the other powdered diets out there. All right, so next we're gonna try the Calcium Pro with a wax worm. These are one of her favorite insects, so I'm sure she's gonna take it regardless, but I would like to see if it has any textural or just taste differences, I guess. And of course, like I expected, she took it in strides. Obviously it doesn't bother her that much that there's calcium powder on it. Uh, usually I use a much finer type of calcium powder. Uh, I believe it's from Zuma, it's Reptivite or something like that. That one seems to have, that one doesn't seem to be the best. Uh, it sticks a lot better than our Arcadia's uh, Calcium Pro. It also doesn't seem to be as natural as their product so i always prefer to go a more natural route when it comes to this sort of thing um i just think it's better for the animal and plus you, you can't actually overdose on a uh, calcium pro unlike some other brands which have synthetic d3 which when built up can cause a variety of different issues well it's better to just uh, stick with natural stuff there's a lot less risk involved All right, so now we're gonna try and feed Bucky, my Bahamnanol, some of the Calcium Pro. Uh, I've noticed that it actually doesn't stick very well to mealworms, so I won't be surprised if it just falls off of, if it just falls off of the mealworm and he doesn't get any calcium powder. I'm gonna have to find a way around that. Uh, so, so as I was saying earlier, Magnesium is actually a really important thing for reptiles that a lot of people don't really talk about or really even know all that much about. Basically, Magnesium is like a catalyst for calcium in the reptile's systems. What I mean by that is it guides the calcium to different parts of the body, such as the brain and organs and muscles and all that sort of stuff. Uh, which is why it says on the bag that it helps with uh, neurological health. Uh, that's, a pretty, uh, that's a pretty big thing in my opinion, which is why I'm really glad I bought this stuff because other calcium powders don't really have the uh, same sort of emphasis on magnesium. And a lot of other ones, like I said earlier, are very synthetic. They don't contain natural sort of ingredients. So I'm a bit more weary about that. 
But yeah, just for that fact alone, I'd really buy some of this stuff or at least try it out. Uh, I've already noticed interesting improvements in my reptiles, uh, just basically awareness and stuff like that. So Bucky ended up eating the mealworm while the calcium powder was uh, not on it. So test and see how uh, well he enjoyed it. He actually did take one with calcium powder earlier that I didn't get footage of. So this is kind of a, a second test, if you will. But, but yeah, it just doesn't really stick to mealworms all too well. So see, so that's basically it for testing. And uh, now we'll go into my final thoughts. So overall, I give uh, both of these a score of 9 out of 10. They are both very well made product and uh, obviously they're working because I've seen noticeable improvements in pretty much all of my animals. Honestly, I'm surprised more people don't use Arcadia products or that they're not more widely available. I will sing their praises <laughs> for as long as I can. Um, they have not made a single product that I did not like yet. Granted, there's still a lot of other products I want to try from them, especially their bioactive substrates. Uh, my Spotted Python bioactive tank is kind of falling apart, so I really want to try and redo it with more Arcadia product, and that's definitely going to be a future video. So yeah, that's basically it. Those are my thoughts on these products. I'd highly recommend you try them out. You can't go wrong with Arcadia products. And yeah, that's basically it. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.